Hello, friends. Good day to all. In this video, I want to talk about another useful tool that I use myself. I advise you only what I have tested myself and what really will be useful to you. This is a render acceleration, but not in the familiar classic version. Look, we have a picture here. Its resolution is of 3000. And you all probably know if you watch my videos often, you know that commercial professional visualization when submitted to the customer should be presented in the resolution of 5K, 6K. Let's see, here we have 3000 on the left, 6000 on the right. At the top you see that there are 6000. And on the right, you will see the resolution. On the white side, I set 6000. Here we get scale. You can increase it by 2, 4 times, either by width or by height. And now I set 4. There are also suffixes and prefixes. Quality can be compared immediately. Look, the blurred left picture and on the right image, we get such a good sharp. Then we click on save. It all starts to save. And this tool works on artificial intelligence. That is machine learning. Therefore, such level of quality is achieved. Those who worked in Photoshop know that if we increase respectively the resolution just to upscale, the quality is a little worse, even though much worse. Now look, after the gigapixel, we already have 12K. Can you imagine what level of quality is this? This is not an enlarged picture from Photoshop, just passed through scale. But a thought out picture from artificial intelligence. All this is calculated and so clearly done. This of course, very much surprised, amazed, but yes, and these technologies already exist. But there are also other tools that we'll talk about now. I want to compare, now look, 3K, I'll zoom into it now. Here is a tree, and now we see a tree in full scale. And I'll try to do the following picture, which we have scaled, to give the same scale. You saw that the tree image was blurred. Let's see how this same area, this same tree will look. You see? Even closer, you saw that it is already much better. But the quality has been updated. The picture doesn't immediately load because it is big enough. The next tool that I also use often is Denoiser. This is suitable if you need to make a preview or the customer quickly asks the first stage and you only have half an hour or an hour for it and that it will work in good quality. Besides that, there is not a lot of noise. Otherwise, the details will simply not be visible under the noise. Use also the Topaz Denoise plugin. Now, this is not very visible because the picture itself was clean. I think I put only 3% of the noise. And if we zoom into it now, we see the removal of some noise and artifacts in the shadows. Since there is no noise, it is not very visible how this tool works. But Denoise Artificial Intelligence does a great job with digital noise and the noise from the renders. But the next one, also on the machine learning, is Sharpen, also by Topaz Labs. I remember the best tool in all my tests, and not only mine, was Topaz. Sharp has always been used, and until now they are leaders. And now only they use such latest developments and technologies. Sharp, its processing, overlaying on the picture, is also great. That is, sharpness is excellent. Not just, you know, on the whole picture or some edges, but the way you need. Several million photos have been processed and indicated before. I think everyone knows how the machine learning works. And here we see Adjust Topaz. And this thing I often use to improve backplates. It's a better tool than Camera Row, which is used to process 
row files. Probably everyone used it. But it just exceeded all expectations. It makes a very cool picture. Both fresh and tasty. Now this picture is more like an autumn one than the original. And look at the sky. The sky is not overexposed. If we used camera row, it would be a completely different result. Here everything is clear. As if I myself wished it. But it happens automatically. So, use these tools. Be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. That's all for this video. Bye everyone.